Hi and welcome back. So I'm guessing you've read the thumbnail and the title. So I want to start by saying this is by no means a hit piece on Do Not Age. This is more an investigation uh, and also a certain amount of transparency. This is something that was highlighted to me in the comment section of the video I posted a few weeks ago explaining why I wouldn't be endorsing Do Not Age longevity products anymore. And I will link that video at the end of this video and also in the description below. Now, if you haven't watched that video, in essence, Duna Age presented me out of the blue with a new affiliate contract. And I mentioned in the other video that I was 99% okay with the terms and conditions of that new contract. All apart from the clause that stated I could not work with any other supplement companies, and I could not mention or post discount codes, etc., on any of my social media platforms, which obviously includes YouTube. Now, I set out all the reasons why I found this unacceptable in my first video. That video has now got well over 100 comments, all positive when they talk about my decision to quit working with Do Not Age. And quite a few people, unfortunately, said they're not going to use Do Not Age in the future. And a number of them called out Do Not Age for their aggressive, aggressive marketing methods. And a number obviously made mention of them being, when compared to other supplement companies, very much expensive. Now, I do receive Do Not Age emails, and I have to agree that their marketing can be a little bit on the aggressive side. And it seems to have ramped up significantly since Alan Graves stood down as the CEO of Do Not Age. But the question of cost or affordability is something that I really wanted to look into, investigate, if you like. Having checked it, I now think that this video is actually warranted. After all, comparing supplement companies' supplement prices is something that would have been denied to me had I signed that exclusive Do Not Age contract. On a side note, another theme of the comments and emails I received on this subject all seem to revolve around trust. That being that those affiliates who do sign the exclusive contract cannot inform their viewers of any new products or deals that may be of interest to them. In essence, those working for Do Not Age will be operating in a kind of Do Not Age echo chamber. For example, if Pro Health Longevity had a 25% off NMN sale, Do Not Age affiliates would be barred from letting you know this information. And if they did, the new contract, as it was when it was sent to me, has a 14-day notice period. Also bear in mind that Do Not Age and Pro Health Longevity both get their NMN from the same NMN supplier in China that supplier being youth ever. So back to the main point of this video. Uh, I chose to work exclusively with Duna Age, Pro Health and Renew by Science because they've proven to be, in my humble opinion, reputable suppliers. And don't get me wrong, Duna Age is still very much a reputable supplier. You can't argue about the quality of their supplements. Now, if you watch the channel for any length of time, you'll know that I do post occasionally comparison videos. In these videos, I compare the prices of specific supplements, for example, NMN, and also the shipping cost of that supplement to various countries around the world. Let's take a look at a couple of clips, not the whole video, from comparison videos that I've uploaded in the recent past. These clips compare NMN and also they compare TMG. Let's start with NMN. Let's now take a look at total savings on cost and shipping, depending on where you are. Let's find out what would be the best option for you. In the USA, it's Renew by Science. They are $17.56 cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. In the UK, it's still Renew by Science. They're around 24 British pounds cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. However, I'm thinking Do Not Age are going to have quicker shipping. In Canada, it's Renew by Science again. Here, they're 11 Canadian dollars cheaper than Do Not Age. And in Australia, again, it's renewed by science. This time, they're $49 cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. So let's take a look at the total savings on cost and shipping, depending on where you are in the world and which one would be the cheapest option for you. So if you're in the USA, Pro Health Longevity is the cheapest. They're around $24.90 per month cheaper than Do Not Age. In the UK, again, Pro Health Longevity, this time they're around £18.60 cheaper than Do Not Age. In Canada, again, Pro Health Longevity. This time they're around $55.45 Canadian cheaper than Do Not Age. And in Australia, we've got a dead heat, and that's equal between Pro Health Longevity and Renew by Science. And both of those are around $58 cheaper Australian per month 
than do not age. Now, in the past and in the main, I tend to only compare popular supplements like NMN, TMG, Apigenin, etc. So just to see if the comments in my previous videos were valid, I decided to choose the less popular supplements for an up to date comparison. For these comparisons, I didn't include shipping, just the raw cost and the normal discount that any affiliate will be able to offer. Now, do not age and renew by science offer people a 10% discount, while Pro Health Longevity, if you buy using my code, will offer you 15% off. Let's start with Coenzyme Q10, more commonly known as CoQ10. Renew by Science will sell you 9,200 milligram capsules for $52. And 95 cents. That works out at 29 cents per milligram, minus a 10% discount. That then drops to 26 cents per milligram. Do not age sells 60 100 milligram capsules for $30. That works out at 50 cents per milligram, minus a 10% discount. Drops that down to 45 cents per milligram. So if you're taking 200 milligrams per day, Renew by Science will be $6.30 a month cheaper than Do Not Age. Let's now take a look at Spermidine. Renew by Science will sell you 98 milligram capsules of Spermidine for $49.95. And then they give you a 10% discount. That works out at 50 cents per eight milligrams. Do Not Age sell you 60 eight milligram capsules of spermidine for $39. Again, they will give you a 10% discount. That then works out at 59 cents per eight milligram dose. With an eight milligram dose per day, which is the normal dose, Renew by Science would be $2.70 cheaper than Do Not Age. Let's now take a look at NR or nicotinamide riboside. Do not age sells 110 grams of NR for $65. They'll give you a 10% discount. That then works out at 53 cents for one gram. Pro Health Longevity sells 144 grams of NR for $59.95. And they're gonna give you a 15% discount. That then works out at 35 cents per gram. So if you're taking one gram a day, Pro Health Longevity would be $5.40 a month cheaper than Do Not Age. So next on the list, we've got Berberine, which is a slightly cheaper option than metformin for controlling your blood sugar. Do Not Age sells you 50 500 milligram capsules for $24. They're going to give you a 10% discount. That then works out at 86 cents for that gram. Pro Health Longevity will sell you 60 600 milligram capsules of berberine for $29.95. They will give you a 15% discount. That then works out at 68 cents per gram. So if you're taking one gram a day, Pro Health Longevity would be $5.40 a month cheaper than Do Not Age. So the question is, why are Do Not Age consistently more expensive than Renew by Science and Pro Health Longevity? And I'm sure other supplement companies too. I'd love to hear what you think, what the reasons are in the comment section below. Now, I've got a couple of reasons, a couple of ideas. Again, let me know what you think about my suggestions in the comment section below. First is, I think they are a research company or research organization, as well as a supplement company. The fact that they are quite rightly very proud of indeed. So to help research out of house trials, they donate supplements like NMN. This obviously goes out at cost price, plus the shipping from wherever they've sourced it um, to their offices in the UK. And they source the NMN, for example, from China. And knowing Alan Graves as I do, I'm sure they also pay for the shipping from their offices to wherever the study is being conducted. This money obviously has to be clawed back and higher prices to customers is the one way that this is going to be done. Duna Age also has an advisory board. Now, I'm not sure, but they may be paying for people to sit on the Do Not Age advisory board. Some of the companies routinely pay scientists and doctors to sit on their advisory boards for one crucial reason, and that is credibility. Having respected medical and scientific experts on boards sends a clear signal to consumers and also to investors. That being that the company values evidence-based formulation and responsible product development. These professionals lend their names, 
reputations and expertise, helping the brand establish legitimacy in an industry that is often criticized for exaggerated claims and also poor scientific backing. But I think this can be a double-edged sword. The presence of a medical professional on an advisory board reassures customers that the products that they sell are informed by real science and are not just marketing hype. But you may ask, how is this a double-edged sword? Take the NMN from Youth Ever, that both Duna Age and Pro Health Longevity sell. If, like most of us, you are frugal with your money, why would you spend more money for exactly the same product? Youth Ever, in exchange for a cheaper wholesale price to companies, require that those companies display the Youth Ever name on their packaging. You can see from this picture that Pro Health Longevity display on their webpage and also on the back of their packaging, and Duna Age just display it on the back of their containers. Now also, as a longevity organization, Duna Age has developed through in-house scientific research, the CERT-6 activated compound. This has to be independently sourced, unlike buying from a third party supplier, as they do with their NMN, in fact, all their other supplements. It then has to be independently tested before it can be sold. This is obviously far more expensive than just buying from a third party supplier like Youth Ever. Again, all these costs have to be clawed back. Bottom line, every company will tell you that their product is superior to other companies. The truth is that supplement companies are really just the middlemen. In that, they buy wholesale from a manufacturer, the vast majority of which come from China or India, and then pass it on to you with whatever markup they deem necessary. Remember also that made in the USA can just mean it came from China or India, but was capsulated and or packaged in the USA and produced in an FDA approved facility means that was an FDA approved facility that was either in China or in India. So if you found a reputable supplier who posts third party test certificates, why would you pay more for exactly the same product? And like me, you really do need to have more than one supplier that you trust. Because if they run out of a supplement that you want and you haven't got time to wait for the back order, it's much easier to just switch to a different supplier, one that you trust and one who has what you want in stock. The worst situation you can find yourself in is to run out of a supplement and then have to start looking for another supplement supplier when time is obviously going to be against you. You will inevitably rush that decision. And this could be costly, not only for your wallet, but also for your health. So let me know. Are you a Duna Age customer? And does it concern you that they're more expensive than other reputable suppliers? Or are you happy to pay more because you know that they're actually supporting longevity research?